another quiz, the second quiz for tonight. So the second quiz I am going to be taking is would you make a good human shield? So let's get started. I already have the website loaded up ready. So sacrifice is essential to any victory. If you're useless in combat, you might consider using your body as a shield to protect others. This quiz will test how effective your body would be shielding both modern and ancient weaponry. So 12 questions. Question 1. Do you have any experience playing high impact sports such as American football or rugby? I have to say answer 3. Little or no experience. Question 2. How thick is your midsection? Includes abdomen, pectorals, breasts and hips. Um, I would have to say... Answer two, average thickness. I'm not terribly thin, but I'm not bulky either. Question three. Supposing you were stumbling over countless mangled corpses or of comrades on your way into battle, how would you respond to this? And it says, this is an indication that I'm on a suicide mission and I should probably turn around. I'd do my best to keep my cool, but I'd probably be very rattled and continue onwards. And number three, a few dead fools won't deter me from doing my duty. This is Operation Human Shield. I would have to say uh, two. Have you ever broken any bones? I would have to say no at this point. Question five, how easily are you knocked down? Very easily. It doesn't take much to make me topple over. Somewhat easily, a light shove might do it. A forceful shove would do the trick. Not very easily, it would take quite a bit to knock me to the ground. I'd have to say three. A forceful shove would do the trick. While standing with your arms outstretched, how much space do you take up? Um, I would have to say... I mean, it's a funny question, but uh, I guess it's based on human shields. So I would have to say number three. Small amount. My reach is short and I'm rather narrow. Um, question 7. Have you ever been required to move forward despite being under intense physical pain, such as swimming to shore with a cramp in your leg or walking home after being stung by a bee? Uh, I'd have to say some experience. Number 2. Question 8. If someone suddenly threw a football at you, how would you react? Um, this is a funny question again, obviously, but I don't mind laughing, so... I would have to say, um, I'd have to say, I probably wouldn't catch it, but I wouldn't die out of the way either, so I'd probably get hit by it, so I probably wouldn't see it till the last minute. Question 9. Supposing you're on a hike with friends and you get a mild sprain in ankle, what would you most likely do? Um, I wouldn't want to ruin the hiking trip for everyone, I'd power through the pain and finish the hike. I'd turn around and patiently wait in the car while my friends finish hiking. I ask that we return home immediately so I can train, treat the sprain to, or see a doctor. Um, I reckon I wouldn't want to run the hiking trip for everyone, so I'd power through the pain and finish the hike. Question 10. Choose the option that best describes your body, tape, uh, body type. I would have to say slim and slender, four. Question 11. How tall are you? Uh, I would have to say, well... I was going to say short originally, but I'd say average height. Uh, question 12, last question. If sacrificing your own life meant saving others, how many people would it have to be to give your own life? Hmm. So question answer one, I'd sacrifice my life to save even if it meant saving only one person, two to five people, six to ten, ten to twenty, or twenty plus, I'd have to save more than twenty people to give my own life. Um, I would have to say... Hmm, two to five people. But looking at it, I'd sacrifice my life to save, even if it meant saving only one person, I'd have to say two to five people at least to actually, uh, before giving my own life. And let's see what the results come up with. Hopefully the results come up. No way, oh no thanks, take me to my results, results below. And according to this, my body is 40% effective as a human shield. Um, so my body is 40% effective as a human shield, and according to this, I would make a good human shield. 
So that's nice to know that my body would make at least uh, half a human shield. <laughs> so hope everyone's enjoyed this second quiz with me and thanks for watching.